வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஈஸி லேர்ன் ஃபன்னி லேர்ன் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டு ரிசீவ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஹாய் மை டியர் கிட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சாப்டர் ஃபைவ் எம்எஸ் வேர்ட் டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் ஃப்ரம் நேஷ்னல் சைபர் ஒலிம்பியாட் என்சிஒ எம்டிஜி ஒர்க் புக் ஆஃப் கிளாஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் விச் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோயிங் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் இஸ் யூஸ்டு டு இன்சர்ட் கோஸ்டட் டெக்ஸ்ட் பிஹைண்ட் த கண்டென்ட் ஆஃப் த பேஜ் டு இண்டிகேட் தட் த டாக்குமெண்ட் ஷுட் பி ட்ரீட்டட் ஸ்பெஷலி சச்சஸ் சாம்பிள் அர்ஜென்ட் ஆர் கான்ஃபிடென்ஷியல் ஸோ இட் கேன் பி அச்சீவ்ட் பை கிளிக்கிங் ஆன் பேஜ் லேஅவுட் டேப் அண்ட் தென் பேஜ் குரூப் அண்ட் தென் வாட்டர் மார்க் ஓகே பேஜ் லேஅவுட் டேப் பேஜ் பேக்ரவுண்ட் and then watermark so option b is the correct answer option b second one which of the following steps when followed will show the data table on which the currently selected chart is based in the chart area okay which of the following steps when followed will show the data table on which the currently selected chart is based in the chart area so it can be achieved by selecting chart tools layout tab and then labels group and data cable finally show data table okay chart tools layout tab labels group then data cable then show table so option a is the correct answer option a third one Which of the following keys is used to move to the next cell in an MS Word table? Option A tab, B control, C shift, D alt, okay? Tab key is used to move to the next cell in an MS Word table. So option A is the correct answer. Option A tab. Fourth one. Which of the following statement hold true about the line numbers command? Okay, statement 1. It is used to add line numbers in the margin alongside of the each line of the document. Correct statement. Statement 2. It shows line number where cursor is currently positioned. It is the incorrect statement. So, option A, only statement 1, B, only statement 2, C, both the statement 1 and 2, D, neither statement 1 nor statement 2. So, option A is the correct answer, only statement 1, okay. Option A is the correct answer. Fifth one, which of the following chart elements help you to distinguish between series and data points? and depicts the color O pattern assigned to series. Option A, error bar, B, text box, C, legend, D, trend line. Okay, so legend help you to distinguish between series and data points. Option C is the correct answer. Option C, legend. Okay, option C is the correct answer. Sixth, what are margins? Option A, the amount of space between the text and the edge of the page on all four sides. B, the amount of space between text and the image. C, the amount of dotted lines on side of the page. D, the amount of space at left side of the page. So, margin means the amount of space between the text. Text and edge of the page on all four sides. So, option A is the correct answer. Option A. Seventh one. Which of the following is the correct step to insert line number in the margin alongside of each line of the document? So, to add line number, we need to select page layout tab. And then page setup group and then line number, okay. Page layout tab, page setup group, then line number. So option C is the correct answer. Option C. If you have any doubt means 
please my dear kid pause the video and check other options too okay eight identify the following future it splits the current window into two parts so that you can view different section of the document at the same time second one it changes the mouse pointer to that one so please pause the video and check the given pictures of option a b c and d so the feature explained in the question is of split okay the feature explained in the question is of split which we can access by going view tab window group and then split okay view tab window group and then split so option c is the correct answer option c okay ninth one you can use different page format within the same document by separating the differently formatted area with dash a page break b word break c section break d format break so you can use different page format within the same document by separating the differently formatted area with section break okay section break so option c is the correct answer option c section break 10th one which key combination is used to show paragraph mark and other hidden formatting symbols option a control shift plus t option b windows alt plus h option c control shift plus 8 d alt control plus 1 so what we need to do is we need to show paragraph mark and other hidden formatting symbol so the correct option is the correct key combination is control shift and then 8 okay option c is the correct answer option c option c okay 11th one the icon shown here is used to dash option a set the size of a page b add a line number in column c add bookmark d add fx in current page so the icon here is used to set the size of a page okay set the size of a page so option a is the correct answer option a 12th one the command button is used to dash option a add or change borders around a page b change the themes color of a document c merge cells d display smart art properties okay the given command button is page border okay page border it helps to add or change border around a page so option a is the correct answer option a 12 13th one in table tool design tab using shading you can option a specify a color for the page background b specify a color for the background behind the selected text or paragraph c highlighting the text d highlight the border of the selected cell in a table so in table tool design tab using shading you can specify a color for the background okay we can specify a color for the background so option b is the correct answer option b 14th one the button shown here is used to insert a dash option a blank page b page break c cover page break d table the button shown here is used to insert a page break okay insert a page break actually this question was asked in 2022 2023 that is current year nco set a paper option b page break is the correct answer 15th which feature automatically moves the text in the current line to the next line when the text does not fit on that line or when the page margins are altered option a word wrap b word count c text format d enter text 
so option a is the correct answer option a wardrap okay option a is the correct answer 16th how can you format a table option a by changing the row height correct by changing the column width correct option c by by applying borders and shading correct since all the option a b c are correct so option d all of this is the correct answer all of this 17th what does a ruler show option a page width option b position of tabs columns etc c length of a document so the ruler shows page width position of tabs and columns and also length of the document so the correct option is option d all of this option d all of this 18th which of the following option is present under the merge group of table tools layout table which gets activated when you insert a table so please pause the video and check the given options okay so the correct answer is option a the correct answer is option a merge cell option is available under the merge group of table tools layout tab it merges the selected cells into one cell okay it merges the selected cells into one cell so option a is the correct answer option a 19th to work on different sections of a document at the same time go to so already we saw this question option a view tab window group and then split b view tab show group split c review tab changes group arrange all d insert tab link group and then switch window so the correct option is option a we need to click on view tab window group and then split option a is the correct answer 20 which feature can you use to combine two or more cells into a single cell in a table option a insert cell b delete cell c merge cell d split cell so this question also we already discussed see here in question number 18 we discussed that is merge cell option a so that is known as option c merge cell okay we are merging the sing cells into single cell in a table option c is the correct answer next achiever section 21 given here is a snapshot of switch windows feature which of the following statement can be derived from the given snapshot so again please pause the video and check the given image okay so option a four word documents are currently open four documents are currently open yes correct statement because we can see the four documents like check link document 29 document on and nco syllabus so four word documents are currently open b among the four document document 29 is the active document yes correct statement c document named check link was opened most recently yes d all of these since the option a b c are correct the correct option is option d all of these okay option d all of these so direction for question 22 to 23 we need to read the given paragraph suppose you have inserted a table in a document as shown here now answer the question that follows 22 how would the given table referred as table 1 would appear if you have selected the banded column and banded rows in the table style option so please check the table one okay so in banded rows even rows are formatted different from the odd rows as well as in banded columns even columns are formatted different from odd columns so by considering this fact 
option a is the correct answer 23rd which of the following is a future that convert the table 1 into the kind of table shown here so in the given table there is no borders so but in the table 1 the borders are there it is in table format but in the question number 23 the table is in text format okay now option a table to text option b convert to text option c text to convert option d text to table okay so the correct option is option b we are converting the table to text so convert to text option b is the correct answer so to access convert to text feature we need to follow the given step insert the table layout tab of table tools and then select data group and then select convert to text okay first select insert the table then layout tab of table tools then data group then finally convert to text so option b is the correct answer 24th the given image shows the selection and visibility pan it displays the name of the shape that you have inserted in the document which of the following is the correct step to open this pan so to open this pan we need to select first click on page layout tab and then arrange group and then selection pan okay page layout tab arrange group and then selection pan so option C, B is the correct answer. Option B. Okay. Next last question. Which of the following statement hold true regarding the given future? Statement 1. A deletes a window containing view of a previously opened document. It is incorrect. Statement 2. Suppose you are working on the current document named as document 1. Then when you click on this future, a new document with the name document 1 is to 2 will be opened. It is the correct, correct statement. So statement 1 is incorrect, statement 2 is correct. So option A, only statement 1. Option B, only statement 2. Option C, both statement 1 and statement 2. D, neither statement 1 nor statement 2. So, statement 1 is incorrect. Only statement 2 is correct. So, the correct answer is option B. Only statement 2. Okay. Thank you my dear kids for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please mail me at easylearnfunnylearn at gmail.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It will motivate me to post more videos. Thank you.